All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing the Nerd Slick 2.5 holster for the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. Nerd seems to be the only manufacturer of holsters specifically made for the PSA Dagger. So it comes in a cardboard box, it's the paper, and then inside of a plastic bag. And inside of the holster is gonna be a couple of included accessories. First up is going to be a Nerd sticker. This is just a kind of a glossy black and white sticker, as well as an additional mod wing. So there's two thicknesses of the mod wings. The thicker one is the one that's installed on the holster already. And the one in that bag is going to be the thinner one. And I'll go over more of what this does when I start going to the features of the holster. Okay, so as always, we will do some close-up shots and I'll discuss some of the available options and customizations you can get for this. So of course they do make this for multiple platforms, not just the PSA dagger. I was just looking more or less for a specific holster for the dagger. So you can get this in a multitude of colors, carbon colors, as well as camo patterns. And the camo patterns include multicam patterns as well as cryptic patterns. You can get this also made in left or right-handed and it is also available in light bearing models. This particular one is not a light bearing model, but they have it for the Streamlight TLR1, TLR7, TLR8, as well as Olight PL3, Balder Mini, and Balder S. So the construction here is going to be Kydex, but it is a particularly thick Kydex. This is 0.8 mil thick Kydex, so very thick, very rigid, and it does have the textured side on the outside and smooth on the inside and all of the edges are deburred and rounded off. There are gonna be a couple of adjustments here. You do have 15 degrees of cant on the belt clip as well as the adjustable mod wing thickness. And so the mod wing is essentially there to have an area to push up against your belt to kind of create a radius around the handgun. And that kind of just gives you more space uh, for the hardest part of the gun to conceal and that is going to be the grip So it's going to push your belt out and allow you to have a better concealment of your handgun You can also adjust the clamping force the clamping force of The holster on the trigger guard itself via these two screws right here So it's going to tighten this down and there's two little rubber grommets on the inside there back to the retention of the holster on yourself this is going to come with a Discrete Carry Concepts monoblock 1.5 inch belt clip right here. These are constructed of steel and feature a DMG slash CU finish. That's what DCC calls it and it is in kind of a matte gray. And this is the version with their logo on the top there. So as far as the design is concerned on this holster, uh, there's lots of features here. Uh, that make this a really good option for a PSA dagger or really any handgun, in my opinion. First off, like I mentioned, the thickness of it, it's very rigid. You don't feel like anything's gonna come out. And I'll show you how the handguns look in just a minute. You do have a sweat guard up here. So this does cover the entirety of the slide portion. This cutout right here, the reason that this is cut out is so that you can attach micro red dots or full-size red dots and you don't have to worry about having anything uh, hitting that or having that inside of the holster. This kind of gives you a lot of options as far as what red dots you can mount to your handgun. The sight channel, and it's gonna be this fold here where the sight of the handgun goes inside of, is able to accept suppressor height sights, one-third co-witness sights, as well as standard height sights. So again, another great design feature there. The bottom portion of it here is going to be open. so. That gives you a lot of options as far as longer barrels and longer slides. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out two different daggers that I have, and I'll show you how that looks. All right, so first I'll get out the dagger compact. Demonstrate that it's empty, no magazine or anything like that. So this is their compact or first generation dagger. I'll go ahead and show you how that looks. There's that sight channel opening, plenty of room in there. And here is the bottom. You still have plenty of space right there. If you do end up getting a longer barrel or longer slide for your dagger. Next up is the 
Dagger full size S. And this one is the one with the threaded barrel. So these do have the same exact size slide. Uh, this one just has a little bit longer of a barrel with a full size frame. There is that sight channel. So these are suppressor height sights. So still plenty of room. And there is the end of the barrel right there. So it's not protruding or anything, uh, but I will say that that is about the max I would go. I wouldn't want it to protrude completely unless this were an open carry holster. But this being concealed carry holster or inside the waistband holster, this is very good fitment. So as far as retention goes, as you can see there, it's pretty tight of a fit. I would say I may loosen this up a slight bit, but absolutely no wobble, very tight fit. And here is the compact. Still again, no wobble at all, very tight fit. So more onto the design of the holster itself. So if you look on the bottom portion here, you're gonna notice three holes and a slight protrusion from the inside going out. What this is for, this is so that you can use a Raven Concealment Systems overhook. Uh, essentially what that is, is it's a single hook design. It's either metal or polymer, and it's more or less for retention to your belt. So you would remove this one and use one of the Raven overhooks to attach this to your belt. That would allow the handgun to sit quite a bit higher. Some people carry it differently. Some people like it lower, but there is that. So if you guys have any questions on the Nerd Slick 2.5 holster, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. Thank you all for watching.